In this tutorial, you will register scans to ensure that the scan captured by the scan station is correctly aligned with the overlapping scans from the station setups. The scan station allows field surveyors to efficiently collect point cloud data without the need of a backsite or targets. To perform a scan station, set the SX10 in any location and in Trimble Axis, simply select the scan station command, the type of scan, and let the SX10 do the rest of the work. After the point clouds have been collected, they can be tied to existing survey stations or other scan stations using the scan registration tool in TBC. Scan stations are a fast method of collecting scan data when the data does not need to be in a specific coordinate system or location. To perform the scan registration, your project should include overlapping scans from both the survey station setups with backsites and the scan station setups which are freestanding scanners. The purpose of the registration process is to move the scan station setups to align them with a non-movable survey station setup, and then refine the registration by performing an additional adjustment of all the scans to each other. We currently have several scan station point clouds that are not correctly referenced to the survey station data. Some users prefer to change the background color of the project to white when working with the point clouds. This option is located on the bottom tab here. In the Point Cloud tab, you are going to launch the Scan Registration command. The Registration command window contains multiple tabs. The first tab, Pairwise Registration, is where the scans are matched together. This will launch TBC into a different view-in mode. As shown here, the total station data with backsites are qualified here as reference stations. Then, you can see on the right-hand side, the scan that happened in the alley is a freestanding scan. The first drop-down lets you select your reference station. Here you can see there is already a grouping of scans. These are the survey stations. One way to differentiate between the survey and scan stations is the lettering displayed in the brackets next to the station ID. S represents the survey stations and Q is for the scan stations. In the box below, you can choose what stations in your reference station group are displayed in the windows. In the drop-down below, there is a box for choosing the move-in station. Users can only select non-survey stations as the move-in stations as the survey station is considered registered. This is because the survey station is orientated based on the total station orientation. The bottom shows the registration results in different colors. The red is a reference and the green is the move-in stations. In this case, I am move-in station 1. If I go to the drop-down of the move-in stations, I can see all three stations that can be moved. Note that you cannot register stations that have a backsite observation to them. Those behave as a rigid body like a survey observation. To better visualize your point cloud data, you can use the render and options to change how the points are displayed. True color shows the scan colors relative to the images captured in the field. Because I stopped the colorization process during the import, the clouds are displayed in default gray. If I switch to scan color, TBC assigns each individual scan a color. You can also choose region color as a rendering setting, which will color each region differently. Another option is to use the intensity based rendering. Many users prefer this option as it displays key features in distinct colors and you can determine which features in the two scans that you are registering match based on the intensity. First, I will perform the registration by automatic which means using two scan stations. I simply select my reference stations and the move-in station I want to register. In this case, it is Q2, and click Automatically Register Pair. This will find the common point between a reference station and a move-in station and will bring the two point clouds together. It is highly recommended that you visually check your registration and do not take the results and numbers displayed here as a sign of good registration. In this case, the residual area is small, which is good, but the overlap is very low. Click the Optimize Pair Registration to improve the results and visually check the registration. Typically, you want to focus on an area that has an overlap of green and red data, and you can inspect how well they overlap. You can see that the two scans fit together well using the automatic registration. After visually checking my registration, I am satisfied with the results and will press Add to Reference at the bottom of the window. 
This creates a new scan group included in the reference and the move-in scan pair. The move-in station it automatically defaults to the next scan ID. Now, I will perform a manual registration using picked point pairs on station Q1. To pick points for pairwise registration, simply pan and zoom around the reference station window until you find a discrete point cloud that is located in both the move-in and reference scans. Select this point in both windows. Panning around this scan, I can see that both scans have scanned this building. I am going to select one of the building corners for a point pair. After the registration is complete, I want to visually inspect the results. The two buttons next to the coordinates of the point pair allow the users to center over the picked point pair in the reference window and move in window. And the second is to delete the point pair. The more pairs you pick, the better pair in TBC will be able to perform. Once you have selected the point pairs, you can click the Optimize Pair Registration button. What this does is perform simple refinement on the picked point pair registration and can help to better the results of the register. Once this is computed, I can view the registered error and overlap and visualize the results. If I am happy with this, I can add to reference and now my scans are one singular group. For scan number three, I will register it automatically and add it to the references. Next, I'll perform the overall refinement. Once your registration is finished, there is an option to perform overall refinement on the registered clouds. This command performs the finishing touches on your registration. It allows you to fix one or more survey stations to perform the refinement. I'll choose to fix all the survey stations and press Refine. Once the overall refinement is performed, a report is displayed. In this report, information on cloud-to-cloud -cloud residuals, as well as the scan-to-scan -scan residuals, is displayed. You can also plot or save this report as a PDF, Word document, or Excel spreadsheet. Moving out of the registration command back to the 3D and plan view, the scans are now matched together and we can proceed with creating deliverables. In the View Filter Manager, uncheck the Raw Data checkbox to hide survey data and clean up the 3D view.